Barbara is for all of us, as we all know. It's a time to commemorate and rejoice the wonderful efforts which help sustain the beauty and the wealth in the cultures here in Ottawa. So, I've heard a lot of stereotypes about Kwanzaa. One, uh, we were listening to some Christmas songs the other day, and one of the songs goes, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And then my cousin was like, I'm dreaming of a black Christmas. And someone said, Black Christmas? Isn't that Kwanzaa? That's not the case at all. We're talking about Kwanzaa is a celebration for individuals of African descent. So if you're of African descent, can you please put your hand up this evening? You know, not a lot of people are putting their hands up. I want to see everybody's hands up because this celebration is not just from people if you have cousins in Africa right now or if you go there every two months. I'm talking about people of African descent. That means everybody, the whole human species, this celebration is for us, for everybody in this auditorium right now. So, if people thought that they shouldn't be invited here, make sure you tweet them, you text them, put it on your Facebook. The address is 1000 Byron Avenue. It's gonna be a fun party. I can smell the food. It smells really good. And I can see the beautiful faces. We're gonna have a wonderful evening tonight. So, another question. What is Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa is known as the good life the good of existence, the good of family, community, and culture. Kwanzaa was created in the 1960s by Professor Maluda Karenga, an African-American scholar and activist, as a way to create, recreate, and circulate African culture as an aid in building community, enriching black consciousness, and reaffirming the value of cultural grounding for life and for struggle. Kwanzaa is now celebrated by millions of people all over the world, of all walks of life, of all religions, all classes, all creeds, all genders, all generations, for the common ground of their Africanness, what we're talking about now. We can substitute the word Africanness for humanism, or humanity, right? It's the same thing. And all of its historical and current diversity in unity. So with that being said, as Kwanzaa being for all of us, we are in the great nation of Canada, so we gotta get things started off with the national anthem. I have a very special friend that's gonna start us off with the national anthem this evening. Her name is Maya, and Maya is a 13-year-old student at Roberta Bondar Public School in the Hunt Club area. A lover of the arts, Maya has been performing in the theater productions locally for the past three years. As a student at Robert Bateman, Maya earned the Grade 6 Arts Award for a performance as a sour kangaroo in the school's production of Susical the Musical. You can give a round of applause for that. We, you know, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is also about celebrating the... Now, today, we're celebrating Kwanzaa. 
Swahili go. <laughs> I'm just joking. But let's give it up for Maya and her two friends who are helping her out. We've got uh, Nam Namukasas and Asante were helping her out as well. So, so give a big ups to them. The Dream Girls. Have I regarded? All right, yes. Uh, Kwanzaa goes to seven days from December 26th to January the 1st. And those seven days are associated with seven principles or values. And the common greeting during Kwanzaa, those seven days, is Abaragani. And this being the second day of Kwanzaa, the second principle is Kuchichaguya. So when you said Abaragani, you said Kuchichaguya, which Abaragani means what's new. So today, we celebrate Kwanzaa because it's a very important celebration. On behalf of Tapu Kambit, I would like to welcome each and every one of you to the 10th Annual Ottawa Community Kwanzaa Celebration. This is a very special Kwanzaa gathering. Tonight we celebrate not only the importance of family, community, and culture, and Tapu Kambit's 10th anniversary of serving the Ottawa community, but also we honor the contribution and the perseverance of our pioneers, the Caribbean domestic migrant workers who arrived in Canada in the 1950s and early 1960s. These pioneers helped lay the foundation not only of our community, but also of Canada's multicultural society by creating pathways for future generations of new Canadians to immigrate to Canada. Through their hard work and dedication, they were able to sponsor their families undoubtedly contributing to the Canadian mosaic we are all cherished today. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, community leaders, family and friends, we come together this evening in the spirit of togetherness to celebrate our families, to reaffirm our commitment to our community, and to embrace values and principles rooted in the best of our culture and tradition.